Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. So we have fire and earth love connections. Um, for the week of August 18th through the 24th, quick reminders, these are general readings, so only take whatever applies, leave the rest. Um, if the dogs begin to bark, I will be pausing and then continuing on. If it is mid-sentence, I will finish my sentence and then pause. Um, so the way that we're doing the spread is we're doing a three spread. We're doing the first one prefer for past love. So if you're dealing with somebody from your past, you're worrying about somebody from the past, you're thinking of somebody from the past. And then we're going to do current energy, which is going to be for those of you that are currently in a connection or a situation, a relationship. And then we're going to do new love for those of you that are single and unattached. So past person for fire and earth spirit, past person, why are you bringing in this chaotic energy? What is going on? Family issues, healing family issues, healing family issues with somebody from the past. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Are you seeing a pattern with the type of people that you date, the type of people that you are um, attracting? Hold on, guys, because I'm not using this deck. And this deck wants to come out, but um, might as well use it, right? I was thinking of using something else, but they started to flip, so we have to use these, right? Um, so there's a pattern that is being recognized as to what it is that you are attracted to. And I'm going to say this. Um, some of you want to heal other people. Some of you feel that that is your purpose, is to go into relationships and heal others. But then that comes at a cost to you. So that is the energy that I'm picking up with somebody from your past. We have the King of Swords. This King of Swords is actually a female. Uh, we have the Six of Swords in the reverse. The Moon with the Nine of Swords. So why is it that you always have to be the one that is always sacrificing everything? Um, four of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Why is it that you're the one that always has to sacrifice? Why is it you're the one that always has to show up? Why is it that you're the one that always has to give 100% and then the other person just gives whatever the hell they want or nothing at all? We have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, the Six of Wands in the upright, and the Seven of Swords. You need to cut your losses. You need to cut ties with this person. Um... And it's not so much about them. It's so much about you. You need to stop going into relationship and enabling people to treat you this way. Allowing people to treat you this way. Allowing people to, to just use you because you have it in your mind that you are here to heal other people in relationship. It is admirable. It is very beautiful that you want to help other people heal, but at what cost, right? If you want to help a person heal, they need to be able and willing to want to heal themselves. This energy that I'm picking up is somebody that just wants to heal somebody when the person really has no interest in healing themselves. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and let's move on to current energy for those of you in a relationship or a situation. Reconciliation for those of you. Um, this is coming up a lot. Someone from your past is returning into your life. For those of you that you are not in a relationship with somebody from your past... This is you allowing yourself a second chance at love. I don't know why I had to say that. We have the three of pentacles, the nine of swords in the reverse. We have the knight of pentacles. Yeah, some of you are giving yourself um, a second chance of love, whether this is with a new, this is somebody, this may be somebody new, it doesn't necessarily have to be somebody from your past. Um, and for those of you that it is somebody from your past, you're trying to give this person a second chance. We have the two of wands, the knight of wands, and the king of cups. Um, this king of cups again, and this king of wands are both females. Just letting you know, this deck has two kings and two queens uh no two kings for for cups for wands coins pentacles whatever um swords or whatever they have a female and a male version of it so there is definitely 
this sense of coming in from the heart when it comes to both of you i feel that the both of you are definitely in in, in in this energy of wanting to really make this work. We have the Two of Swords in the reverse, the Chariot, and the Ten of Wands. So the, the Ten of Wands is in the reverse. So whatever silence was there before, whatever blockages or whatever was weighing this relationship down, whatever was not allowing this to blossom or grow, I feel that you guys are working through it. We do have the Three of Swords, the Three of Wands in the reverse. Um, because the main thing here with the five, we have the five of swords and the ace of pentacles in the reverse. A lot of the issues between the two of you is communication. And that is something that slowly, and I'm saying it like this, slowly and steady, the both of you are working on. This is not something that is going to happen overnight. So um, there is going to be, let's just put it this way. This is a long road um to make this relationship to work to allow this relationship to grow to work through this relationship whether it is a new person um or whether it is somebody from your past the fact that you're giving yourself a second chance on love if it is somebody new there are things that you are still working through when it comes to trust um and if it is somebody from your past you're still having an issue trusting them all right for those of you that are single new love New love for those of, for those of you that are single. All right, again, this card is coming out a lot for the singles. Let your friends help. Ask for and accept help from others, or is it help? Support from others. Excuse me. Um, let's go ahead and see. What do we have for those that are single? king of swords and the king of swords is a female those are mainly the ones that are coming up queen of pentacles in the reverse and the empress you're here like nah i'm good single i don't need i don't need a day i don't need a person I, i'm good by myself at this moment in time we have the ten of wands um maybe you're having maybe you were talking to somebody and they ended up ghosting you we have the three of um wands the ace of pentacles and you're just kind of like you know what i need to focus on other things i don't need to focus on love we have the three of pentacles and the king of cups why are these hold on guys love is not at your forefront at this time maybe you have your friends or family members telling you that you've been single for too long that you need to get yourself out there we have the two of swords and the ace of swords and you're just like why can't you guys just let me be like why why is it that in order for the world to see you and we see we have the world in the reverse the knight of wands the page of cups and the five of wands in the reverse it's like why is it that in order for people to believe that you're happy they they need to see you with somebody i feel that you are single by choice during this time and you're loving it but people are literally like almost like coming down your throat telling you that you need somebody that you can't stay single forever and you're like who the hell said I was going to be single forever? I'm just saying that during this time in my life, I want to be single. So I, feel, I really feel that you're not really allowing people to set you up with anybody or anything like that. You, you're, we have the emperor, we have the nine of wands. You, you want to go, and the king of wands, you want to go after the things that you want. You want to go after what, what, what you're passionate about and you want to be... And I'm not going to say, I'm not going to lie, you want to be in control of your life uh, to a certain point or a certain degree. Um, there's something that you want to accomplish or something that, you, that you're that you working on that you want to get completed before you even think about love. Well, guys, that is all that I have for you for this week. As always, thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. Thank you to all of those that have been donating. It is greatly appreciated. And if you have not liked, share, or subscribe, I encourage you to do so. It helps with growing the channel, getting the video out there for more people, as well as keeping me accountable. For personal readings, all that information can be found down below in the description. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Mwah! Love you all. Bye-bye.